we are looking at the muscles who are present in the medial compartment of the thigh and primarily these muscles are adductors. And now let's try to identify these muscles. So first of all, you can see a muscle here and this muscle is the pectineus muscle. This muscle belongs to this adductor group but its innervation is coming from my femoral nerve. Sometime it is supplied by obturator or the accessory obturator nerves. After that, we can see very clearly the muscle which I'm holding that is my adductor longus muscle. To look at my adductor brevis muscle, I have to cut this muscle and I don't know how clearly it has been shown or it has been visible to you. But what I can show you very clearly here, can you see this big group of muscle? Can you see this big muscle? That is my adductor magnus muscle. This adductor magnus muscle has two components of it, has two parts of it. Part of it, it is working with my medial compartment muscles or the adductors. So that is the adductor part of my adductor magnus muscle. And when we'll be talking about the hamstring group of muscles, there I will try to show you its hamstring part. And this muscle is an example of a muscle who is innervated by two nerves. Its adductor compartment is innervated by the nerves, the nerve of the adductors and that is my obturator nerve. And the hamstring part is supplied through the branches of the sciatic nerve and which part of the sciatic nerve supplies my hamstring muscles that is my tibial part of the sciatic nerve. Then last but not the least this muscle which is placed most medially the, I'm holding here at the moment this muscle is known as the gracilis muscle. This muscle is very commonly used for various muscular grafts during various procedures which has been carried in the pelvic cavity. 